There's many reasons that you'd want to serve static files from a server. The most common example is probably serving static website files like HTML, CSS and JavaScript files to a browser. I'm going to show you how to do this via a simple example of serving a static website. I have a fairly empty happy project open here with an index.js file and some boilerplate that you should be familiar with now and also a public folder containing my website. This is a very simple website that consists only of three files, an index.html file, a style.css and a script.js file. When opening it in a browser, it fetches a random joke from an API and inserts it into the page. First, I'm going to focus on serving just the index.html file. If we wanted to do this without the aid of any plugins, we could simply use the built-in Node.js file system functions to read the contents of our file into a buffer and then use happy's h.response function to set the response and h.header to set the re proper response header. We can see if this works by loading localhost 4000 in the browser. This certainly works but life is going to be a lot easier if we use a happy plugin called inert. This contains code similar to what we've written here but it handles many details that would be too tedious to deal with manually every time we want to serve a file. Let's go ahead and install inert. Now let's register inert using the function server.register and passing inert as an argument. Now let's create a new root and simply call h.file passing in the path to our file. We can make things easy when defining routes by passing an option along to happy.server. This tells inert that it should take all file and directory paths that we specify relative to this path. Now we can simply say index.html here. As we can see, things are working nicely in our browser. Inert actually offers an even more concise way of serving a single file. Instead of writing any code for this, we can define our handler as an object with a single property, file, the value being the name of our file. This root is now identical in behavior to the existing one, so we can remove that. Our index.html file is trying to load our style sheet, but it's failing. That's because there's no root for that yet. Let's fix that. There we go. The style sheet is now being served by Happy. We also have a JavaScript file that our website is attempting to load. Now, we could go and add another root for that in the same style, but you can probably tell this is getting a bit tiresome to add a root for every single file. In the future, we might want to add more files like images, videos, or other HTML pages. A common desire is to serve all of the files within a particular directory. Inert offers a super simple way to do that. Let's go ahead and remove all our existing routes and replace it with a single route using the directory handler from Inert. I'm going to use syntax that's slightly new to you for the path here. This is a wildcard route indicated by the asterisk. It matches anything. It's important because it's going to match any future files that we add to our folder without having to list them out individually. I'm going to explain this more in a later video about routing, so hold on for that one if you're still confused about this. For the handler, we specify a single directory property, and for the value we use period, which refers to the current directory. Remember this is all relative to the public folder, so period simply resolves as the public folder itself. We can now load slash index.html in the browser and see that everything is working, the page is able to load all the required files from the public folder. An additional feature that the directory handler has is to look for an index file in the directory when we load the base path. So instead of having to load slash index.html, we can simply load slash, which is a lot more convenient and a standard for static website URLs.